right, good afternoon and welcome to the Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. God is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be adored. We truly bless Him and magnify His holy name above all other names. Amen. I am so excited about what we're going to share with you today because as I was getting ready, the Holy Spirit was unfolding some things to me and I want to share it with you on today. We're going to talk about the power to persevere, the power of perseverance. Whatsoever God has given unto you to do, I want to encourage you from the book of Joshua to be strong, to be courageous, to make sure that you hear distinctively from God that you are moving according to what God has instructed you to do. Now I'm going to share with you something that happened and is still unfolding. But I want to share it with you because I believe that it goes along with the power of perseverance. It is also connected to leaders of faith affirmations. And before I go any further with that, I just wanted to let you know that we have revised our study, Kingdom Leaders Learning to Lead. We have included leaders of faith affirmations as well as uh, the breakthrough anointing and some other components and so we're going to talk about uh, in the future some traveling dates that we have for teaching all right so let me start off by saying that over the past uh, couple of weeks we've been talking about leaders of faith affirmations and we've been talking about uh, Jehovah Jireh, our provider. We have even uh, gone into talking about the one of the ways that he provides is protection. Well, uh, since we have been doing uh, the live broadcast from our page, included in the radio broadcast, things have gone smoothly. And on Friday, after I finished doing the 1230 Bible study, I went back to obtain the video, which I normally do, to download it, and I could not. So, I'm like, hmm, you know, okay, couldn't download the video, just did one the day prior, had no idea what that was all about. So, we continued on. And on Monday, I looked again, still could not uh, do that, still could not do it. And I'm like, okay, you know, I don't know what that is about, but to God be the glory. And uh, so we continued on. Yesterday, I get a phone call that some mail that I mailed back on January 25th, has not been received. So I begin to pray and think about that and ask the Lord, where is my mail? Locate it. Where is it? Because I need it to be delivered. And I begin to pray about, uh, once again, thanking God for his protection, thanking God for his word, his warning, because just the night prior, I had a dream about something being held up. So Monday night, I have a dream about something being held up. Tuesday, I get a call about something is held up. So he warned me in the dream. I began to pray about it. We get ready for radio on yesterday. And since I could not download the video on Friday, I figured, you know what? Just use one of our other devices. Record from that. You still do what you need to do. And when I finished, I went to get the video, but I didn't have full access to it. It, it was, it was, something was going on with it. It didn't save in the proper format. Something was going on. So 
still praying about it and I'm like okay God what are we going to do because I know what you called me to do and I know what you have instructed me to do and and I am obedient I'm obedient to this right here and uh, so when I got up this morning you know I'm praying and meditating asking God what are we talking about today what what's our subject for today thinking about things that are transpiring because I knew I had an issue yesterday and I didn't have full access to the video so I was saying okay God what are we doing and uh, sitting at my desk and looking at the device I began to look through my system and I saw a bunch of X's on what I needed access to and it hit me that wait a minute this app is on my system to restrict my access that access is mine that access belongs to me and you don't have a right to deny me access now listen to this because this is connected to where we are spiritually the enemy comes but to do what steal to kill and to destroy and he wants to limit your access to what he wants to limit the access first of all he doesn't even want you to believe or have faith in the word of God he wants to restrict that so that's been restricted for so many because they were so used to going to the building to worship God they did not learn how to embrace and worship God in their own homes in their heart so many are restricted in that area they feel that they cannot get back to the building and so their faith has been diminished they uh, see it as church has changed and church not the normal but we are the church and if we are really going to be the church then you are the temple of God you are that tabernacle now we do come together to worship together in the likeness of faith to build up one another but in your own secret closet where you are you build up your faith you continue to worship and magnify God and and so I was looking at this and I'm praying and I looked up on how to remove this app that is denying my access so I where I prayed about the mail and I was also praying about this what I needed to do with the video to share it on our YouTube channel and other platforms I'm saying God what am I supposed to do what is this and I was led directly to it and I went in and removed that app now where before I removed the app I saw all of these access all of these X's I, I saw all of these red X's that had limit my access that belongs to me what belongs to you belongs to you and we have to recognize first of all when God gives us a warning when I don't know about you but I pay attention to what I do for the kingdom of heaven I do I pay attention to the seeds that I sow I pay attention to the work that he has given me to do I pray over it uh, the work of my hands are blessed but the enemy will try to hinder the release well I can't even say the release because once God releases something to you it's on its way he tries to hinder you receiving what God has for you he tries to hold it up and that's what was going on so I want to say to you I want to encourage you today that yes you are in the right place of doing what God called you to do many of you are in the right place you are doing what God called you to do and you keep hitting roadblocks don't become okay with hitting roadblocks 
Don't become okay with being hindered. Don't become okay with being blocked, being denied access. Don't be okay with that. Begin to pray and ask God, what is going on? Reveal to you what is going on. I know I said I wanted to take a look at Joshua the first chapter because that is dealing with uh, being encouraged but I want to take a look at another passage of scripture and it is over in the book of Daniel because Daniel experienced a time where what he was praying for was held up So let me get to that. And that is in Daniel the 10th chapter. It, it says that I'm going to, let me see, this is all so good. Uh, let me start at, let me start at the first verse. It says, in the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, a thing was revealed unto Daniel, whose name was called Belshazzar. And the thing was true, but the time appointed was long, and he understood the thing, and had understanding of the vision. In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth, neither did I anoint myself at all, till three whole weeks were fulfilled. And in the four and twentieth day of the first month, as I was by the side of the great river, which is Hadekel, then I lift up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphaz. His body also was like the barrel, and his face as the appearance of lightning. And his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like in color to polish brass, and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. And I, Daniel, alone saw the vision, for the men that were with me saw not the vision, but a great quaking fell upon them, so that they fled to hide themselves. Therefore I was left alone, and saw this great vision, and there remained no strength in me, for my comeliness was turned in me into corruption, and I retained no strength. Yet I heard Yet heard I the voice of his words, and when I heard the voice of his words, then was I in a deep sleep on my face, and my face toward the ground. And behold, a hand touched me, which set me upon my knees and upon the plains of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright, for unto thee am I now sent and when he had spoken this word unto me i stood trembling then said he unto me fear not daniel for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy god thy words were heard and i am come for thy words so as i and i'm using myself as an example just as daniel is writing about his experience when I pray, my prayer was heard. The answer was released. Now I had to wait to get to the to get the answer. On Monday night, once again, I had a dream about something being held up, something that was on the way. So when I got up Tuesday morning, I said to myself, hmm, I wonder what that means. Uh, I didn't share it with anybody. I just kind of kept it in the back of my head and I'm like, okay, what's going on? I proceeded with getting myself prepared for my day. And when I came to my phone, I saw I had a missed phone call. I returned the call. And I am now finding out that some mail I sent back on January 25th did not make its destination. Yesterday was February the 14th. 
And so I'm like, okay. Then I'm having the issue with after recording yesterday, I cannot, I don't have full access to the video that I did on another device. We have, we have some good equipment, but, and, and I, I could see it. I know it's there, but I didn't have full access to it. And I know that I didn't have an issue the last time I, I, I did, I recorded from that device. So what is going on? And it troubled me because I'm saying, God, I know you told me to go this route. I know you told me to do this. So if I am being obedient unto you, as you instructed me to be, then I know that you're going to, you're going to reveal this to me. The enemy is not going to fight against you when you are doing the will and work of God. It, it, he's not going to fight against you fair. If you're not doing the will and work of God, he's not going to fight against you. Because why? You're not obedient. When you find yourself to be obedient, yes, the enemy will fight against you. Yes, he will come to try to block and to hinder what you are doing. He most certainly will. And so I was confident in saying, okay, um, I was even prepared to go ahead and record from the device again today and saying, God, I don't know what the issue is. I'll figure it out. But this morning I was looking and I'm like, okay, I don't know what's going on. What is this? And then I began to see this particular app was, it was blocking, it was blocking my access. You can't block my, my access. That belongs to me. You don't have the permission. You have to say that to the enemy. I am a willing, obedient vessel who walks in humility to do the will of God. And what he has said concerning me, I believe it by faith. What he has instructed me to do, I will do so by faith and in humility. I will walk in obedience. I will walk in the admiration in the confidence, I will persevere. I will do what he has called me to do. We have to take that kind of attitude. We have to move in that type of uh, humility. That has to be our mindset. There is power in persevering. And so I begin to look at that. I'm like, wait a minute. That's what's going on in the spiritual realm. What was what we do, the enemy does not want it to advance. He doesn't want it to reach those it's supposed to reach. And that was his way of restricting me. Because I couldn't share Friday's Bible study. I couldn't. Not from our page here, not from the Facebook page for the balance of life. I, I couldn't download it. That's my page, but I didn't have permission to download it. And since we have been doing live from our radio broadcasts from our Facebook page, I share one of those on our YouTube channel as well. So do you see how the enemy was trying to bring in a hindrance so that I couldn't do well wait, wait a minute I, I did what I was supposed to be doing what he was doing was bringing in a hindrance trying to bring in a blockage so that it could not reach those it was supposed to reach trying to hinder me but to God be the glory I thank him for spiritual insight I thank him for giving me a a heart of obedience and humility that I could see in the spiritual realm that I could hear and that I, I, I discern things and that I pay, I pay attention to what is going on in the atmosphere around me I pay attention to it if, if something is going on and it seems a little bit off I don't ignore it. I don't just look at it as a one-off. No, something is going on 
in the atmosphere and why are you fighting me so? Because I am doing what I am called to do. Why are you fighting me? Because you don't want somebody to hear the word, to receive the word by faith in their heart. You don't want that word to reach where it's supposed to reach. But the gates of hell cannot prevail against the word of God. Mm -mm. No. That's why it's so important to stay in prayer, stay in communication with the Father. Ask him what is going on. I believe we shared a couple of months ago and we still do it till this day. When you get up in the morning and you're stirring, before you get out of the bed, be begin to pray and, and thank God for a new day. Acknowledge him. Bless his holy name. And ask him as we are saying, Lord, what am I doing today? Lead and direct my steps. Also ask him what demonic spirit has been sent against you for that day. It's not the same hindering spirit from yesterday. And so, okay, so let me share this with you because this right here just dropped in my spirit. So there was two type of hindrances. Uh, one that not receiving what I sent. Oh God. They didn't receive what I sent. And he was trying to block me from sending out the word. I thank God that I got the phone call yesterday. I wouldn't have known. I wouldn't have known. And so that is the spiritual attack that was against me. Where, where I send out, he doesn't want it to be received. But there is a power of perseverance in me, which is the Holy Ghost. So Daniel experienced, I'm going to share it with you here. Daniel 10, 13 says, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and 20 days, 21 days. Remember, Daniel said that he fasted for 21 days. Mm -hmm. He said, I ate, he said, three full weeks. That's 21 days. From the time he prayed, his answer was released. The enemy held up him receiving the answer. Yesterday, once I, I tried to figure out why my video was not transferring to my flash drive, Here's my flash drive. It would not transfer properly. And I'm like, what is the issue? I never have a problem. It, and here's another thing. It didn't save in the correct format. That's what really threw me off. When I saved it on the flash drive and put it into my laptop, it didn't save in the right format. So I was getting an error message saying they couldn't open the file. And I'm like, what in the world is going on? My 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 flash drive is is not corrupt. The 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 desktop is. We only use it for broadcasting. We only use this particular desktop to do the radio broadcasts. Our main component is my handy dandy laptop. There's there's another system that we don't. We we act we have three systems here. But I was taking notice and I'm saying, what is going on? First, I'm getting a call. Now this. Spiritual attack. Remember, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And unless we know what the stronghold is, we, really, we don't know what to pray about. We can pray and say, reveal to me what the stronghold is and once we find out what that stronghold is then we can pray strategically we can name that thing but until we know mm -mm. but you can listen continue to do the work that God has called you to do don't back up 
you're going to hit some bumps in the roads. You're going to hit some hindering points. You're going to hit some, listen, there are going to be some frustrated days. There are going to be some days that, that, that uh, it, it don't feel like you are accomplishing anything, but you are. You are. Pay attention to what is going on around you in the spiritual realm. Pay close attention. Things that are happening in the natural, look at it in the spiritual realm. I looked at it in the spiritual realm. It happened in the natural, but I said, okay, listen, this, this, this isn't flesh and blood. This is a real hindrance. This is a real blockage. So I am encouraged and I want to encourage you as well. Because Daniel was told, it says, But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days, for yet the vision is for many days and so he is saying to him and and that was gabriel the angel he was saying to him your prayer reached heaven it reached where where it needed to reach it reached god and god is releasing an answer unto you now the enemy wanted to fight the angel to withstand him to hold up the answer so that it didn't reach Daniel. So that, and that's where frustration comes in. You might find that you're praying about something. You're praying about something and you are looking for some instructions. The next thing to do, you're working in ministry, you're working in business, and even things in our personal lives with our homes, uh, with our families. We're praying about some things. And when you find yourself in a place in connection with, Second Chronicles seven fourteen. Also, Hebrews eleven and six. When you find yourself in connection there, that you believe God, you believe that He is. You believe that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. You find yourself in that place. When you find yourself in that place, and you can identify yourself in that place when you pray in humility and sincerity believing in God by faith believing in his son have faith and when you don't know what to pray for when you just can't put get a clue you just can't put your finger on it ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you because we know not what we ought to pray for the Holy Spirit maketh intercession for us and groanings in which we cannot utter. And so when you just don't know what to pray for, pray and ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you. What is going on? Oh my God, this right here was just so very, very good. And I wanted to share that with you on today. Uh, once I got the word um, about what we were going to discuss, the power of perseverance, it was after that that I saw this app on my computer that was limiting my access do you see how God will bring it all together if we allow him to take a look at Joshua 1 and 1 in your spare time countless times in the very first chapter he was instructed to be strong and encouraged that God was with him God was with Joshua to lead the people into the promised land. God is with you continually to lead and guide you in the work that he has called you to do. I know that he is. I believe that he is. Stay encouraged, encouraging others along the way in your walk. Fret not thyself from evildoers. Fret not because the enemy is coming against you so heavily. Do the work of God. Amen. Continue to do the work. Let him lead and guide you. Continue in the path and in the admiration of the Lord. And his will may be done. 
You know that we love you here at the Balance of Life Without Measure simply because we believe in the potential of each and every one of you. We will definitely be back on tomorrow, 1230, to God be the glory.